Life's journey often leads us down unexpected paths, which causes us to question and reassess and sometimes even deconstruct our beliefs. And this process can be particularly intense when it involves your faith, right? This is a very personal thing. And if you're in this place right now, wrestling with feelings of danger or lack of accountability or thoughts of being brainwashed, I want you to know that I'm here, I hear you, and that I wanna help you through this challenging process. I'm part of Where You Are Church, and we're here to meet you exactly where you are, rather than just focusing on trying to get you to be somewhere that you're just not. We're a community that wants to help you um, and help you see that God is with you no matter what your interests, your doubts, or your reservations might be. So let's talk about deconstructing our faith. It's often a response to experiences or realizations that shake our beliefs. Right, maybe you've been hurt by church leaders. If that's happened, I wanna say as a church leader, I'm incredibly sorry, that should have never happened. Or perhaps you're struggling to reconcile your faith with some other knowledge that you've acquired. Right, this process is not about destruction, but it's about breaking down what you believe to understand it fully. So here's, what, here's the process that most people take for deconstruction. The first is that you start with questioning, right? You face these doubts and you start seeking answers. Then it goes to investigating, where you're researching the history and context of the beliefs that you've held or that you've just learned. And then it goes on to reflecting, which is reconsidering um, considering all of your personal experiences and your emotions. And lastly, realigning. This is where you identify, you know, your genuine beliefs and your values. So, but there's some challenges along the way here and this process can be really painful and confusing for people. So finding support, taking your time, you know, engaging with various perspectives and being gentle with yourself, they're critical steps in this path. Reconstructing faith after deconstruction is a unique and individual journey, but I wanna propose a path that has been transformational for many, including myself, which is this, rebuilding around Jesus. Hear me out, hear me out. I think that if you start studying the life of Jesus, his teachings and his love for humanity, you'll, you'll see something that's so unique. Apart from all the religious baggage, apart from all the denominations, apart from all of the people that you know in your area that you've talked to that believe Jesus is God, I want you to just take a look on your own, explore the Synoptic Gospels and consider his example of things like compassion and justice and truth. And consider how his teachings resonate with your values and understanding of life, right? His message, you'll be surprised, his message often aligns with your desire for authenticity and love and purpose. And then spend time in prayer or meditation if you do that, right? Seeking, seeking a personal connection with this Jesus. I believe that's possible. And I believe that if you do it, that relationship will offer incredible guidance and support and sense of belonging that you are looking for and that you need in this, in this time. And then lastly, um, this might be hard for you right now, but find or create a community and maybe create the community, creating the community is what you need to do, but find or create a community that shares this focus on Jesus, right? A supportive and understanding group of people, a safe place that will help you grow and thrive in your reconstructed faith. And that's what we do here at Where You Are Church. We have lots of folks that do exactly that. So maybe we're a place that you could consider. But lastly, we, we ask you to embrace and encourage you to embrace a life that it reflects Jesus' teaching, that will let you focus on things like love and service and integrity. This, would, this will bring that renewed sense of meaning and fulfillment to your faith. And like I said, I just wanted you to hear me out on this because I just so believe that rebuilding your faith around Jesus is about finding alignment with your true self and the divine love that he represents, right? This path is not about rigid dogma or blind obedience or about living, uh, but, but it's about living the relationship um, with the divine, right? Having a relationship one-on-one -on -one with him that seeks truth, justice, and compassion. So if you find yourself in this place of deconstructing and you're a little bit lost, just remember a couple things. Number one, you're not alone. Many people have walked this path and found renewed faith in Jesus. Secondly, allow yourself to explore and keep questioning, right? You, you can, knowing that Jesus' teachings may offer the answers and the connection you seek, but keep questioning, keep going on the journey. And next, seek support. You know, it's okay to ask for help. Take your time too. This journey is deeply, deeply personal. I always encourage people, take the time that you need. If you've been watching other videos, this is something I say just about every time. I want you to surround yourself with understanding friends or mentors. You might find some here at where you are. 
because deconstructing and then reconstructing your faith around Jesus, we believe wholeheartedly will help you find a more profound and authentic and fulfilling spiritual life. We've seen it time and time again. And it's, we believe it's a journey towards freedom, understanding, and love, ultimately, because we believe God is love and that Jesus is the ultimate expression of God. So thank you for joining me on this exploration. I hope you heard me out. I hope that you consider it. If you want to talk further, hit me up in the comment section. But until next time, keep seeking, keep growing, and embracing the love and wisdom that Jesus offers.